Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry I've been slacking. I haven't done any videos lately. Um, so today I went grocery shopping. I went to Publix to pick up some deli meat because they have the boar's head meat, which is the best. And then I went to Walmart to get a couple other things um, that I get cheaper there than Publix. So I did my normal grocery shopping trip and then I just grabbed these extra things here. These are going to be my preps that I added to my normal shopping trip. So it's not very much, it's just something. I'm going to go through what I got and kind of explain what my thinking is. So I got a couple more things of this roast beef. Guys, if you can, try to stock up on whatever canned meats you can right now. Um, if you're paying attention to the news or anything, um, meat... Okay, so this... <laughs> This fake meat stuff is being pushed like none other. And to me, anything that is being pushed um, is for a reason. So I say stock up on whatever meat you can. It might be that at some point, probably, we will have a hard time getting meat in the grocery store. So canned meat, um, chicken, turkey, roast beef, uh, tuna. This has a Best Buy date. Sorry, I can't read. Oh, man, it's dented. Um, December of 23, so it's another couple years, or a little, I guess a little more than two years. Um, stock up on canned meats, guys. Then I just grabbed a couple other random things. Some more spaghetti rings with meatballs, some black-eyed peas, and these soups, the chunky soups, were buy one, get one free at Publix, so I grabbed quite a few of those. I got eight. These are... A good source of protein and vegetables and calories for a cheap price. Then I got three more cans of diced potatoes, a couple things of the Velveeta macaroni and cheese microwavables. These I always have to have in my house or my son will throw a fit. <laughs> Not really, but he wouldn't like it. I got another four pounds of spaghetti and these are all things that will last a pretty good amount of time in my prepper pantry except these. These probably won't last very long. Anyway, um, I'm going to go sit down on the porch and have a little talk if you guys care to hang around for that. Okay guys, if you're still here hanging around for my little porch chit chat, um, it's like in the 70s in Florida right now, so it is really nice. I'm just going to sit out here on the porch in my rocking chair like an old lady. Um, all the neighborhood kids are out playing, so you'll probably hear them in the background. I think one of them had Girl Scout cookies, so... If I pause this video, it's because I was um, forced to buy some Girl Scout cookies. Um, anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to say about prepping is, um, or me in particular, is I was kind of prepping for each individual event that I thought might happen. Like I don't know, I don't know where I got this mindset that I was like, okay, I'm going to prep for this date or this uh, event. If this person doesn't win election, then this person could win and then this might happen and that might happen and then after um, the hearings and after the impeachment trial this might happen and if the truckers go on strike this and I was planning for all these individual events and so um, after inauguration day like the day after I just had this feeling like hmm nothing happened what do I do now and I think I kind of got complacent and that's why you haven't seen any videos <laughs> So, I guess one thing I wanted to say is that the worst place you could be as a prepper is um, in complacency. You get complacent and then you are not prepared, you're caught off guard for something that could happen. Um, you don't plan for things that you know might happen, you're planning for things that are coming out of the blue, things that you didn't plan that might happen. So, um, well like a hurricane, okay, you know a week or so in advance a hurricane's coming. So you can prepare for that. We do. Um, you know current events that are happening and you can kind of plan for that. But what happens when you don't see the event coming? You don't um, have any clue that something's around the corner and just like that, everything changes. That's what we prep for. So I kind of had to like reprogram my mind and be like, I'm not gonna stop prepping just because all the things I thought were gonna happen didn't happen because things still could happen. Um, I heard that the, where are they? 
the cicadas or the what are they called the big bugs the locusts um, it's like the 17 year mark where um, they all come out of like their hibernation or whatever um, this spring and so during all the times when our like our crops and our flowers and our, our vegetables are going to start blooming that's when these um, locusts or cicadas I can't remember I'm sorry um, they're supposed to come out and they're supposed to be trillions of them so um, imagine what kind of devastation that could cause to our crops our food production um, and just uh, being that there is a new president and new policies being implemented I mean we really don't know what's around the corner we don't know how other nations are going to react to the policies that we implement so just stay on your toes I'm telling myself this too because I kind of got complacent and that is the worst place you want to be as a prepper but anyway guys thanks for watching tune in for the next video and everybody stay safe out there bye